Hi there, thanks for tuning into Dear Side Pursue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, how do I fit dating into my very busy life? Well, the first thing you have to ask yourself is, are you really interested in dating? Or is there something holding you back? A lot of times we sabotage our own happiness without even realizing that we're doing it. When we really want something in our life and we're not getting it, it's usually because there's an established fear. Something has, has kept us stuck in a place of not allowing certain things to happen. It's really important to get to the bottom of why, why this is happening to you. Why are you making everything else a priority and leaving love last on the totem pole? I've had quite a few clients, mostly female, have come to me and said, I don't understand why I'm not meeting anybody. I'm, I'm very busy and driven in my career, but I still want to have somebody in my life. Well, you're shutting the door from allowing somebody because your career is taking over your life. But sometimes it doesn't even have to be the case. You allow it to be the case, and that's the difference. When you put all your energy into one thing in your life, there isn't a lot of balance, and it makes you feel really lopsided. You're saying to yourself, why do I feel not whole? I feel like something is missing and I feel out of sorts. It's because you're not putting in a lot of different things within your life that keep that nice balance. If you work 24 seven and you have no downtime and no social time, it's eventually gonna wear you out. It's also going to leave you heartbroken because you're sitting here at the age of 40 plus single because you put so much energy into your career and didn't leave time to find love in your life. It's important to know how to manage that. And this is what I'm finding with people who are having a tough time and are too busy to date, is they're not managing their time properly. If you've come to this video, you are wanting to meet someone. Otherwise, you would have just passed over it. The title caught your eye because you're finding something in your life is keeping you from actually having the love you want and you deserve. So the first thing is you're owning it, which is great. The second thing is now you've got to sit down and figure out how you can put energy and time into meeting someone. And the best way to do this, I know a lot of people don't like dating sites, but at least there you can go and see, is there somebody else who's maybe really busy with their, their careers, but they still wanna meet somebody. You can find commonalities with people when you read someone's profile. You're not gonna meet everyone that fits the, the priorities of what you're looking for, but it's a good start. You can put an hour, maybe every couple of days in just looking and, and reading people's profiles. And if you do see somebody that you think, well, this could be interesting, send them a, a, a message or whatever you do now, a little heart or something, and let them know and see if there's a match. Go for a coffee. Make time for a half an hour to an hour coffee. Don't plan a whole evening because that will stress you out. You want to be able to learn how to balance your life and you have to do it in small baby steps to change that or it's going to feel overwhelming for you. It's not impossible to meet somebody who feels the same way you do about that your, your career and your other parts of your life are really important. Not everybody wants to see their partner 24 seven. You just have to be honest when you're on a date and just say, I really would love to meet somebody. My business does take a lot of my time but I have a lot of love and energy to give to a person who can understand that and I can be understanding of them in the same way. You don't want to meet somebody who's clingy or they're desperate to meet a partner because they're going to have expectations of you that you can't give them. But the more open and honest you are when you meet somebody, there's totally a good chance for you to meet somebody who thinks like you. There's a lot of people that just don't want to be completely tied down, but they want a partner. And that's what you say to them. It's not because I don't want to give energy and time to a person. I just have a lot of other things on my plate. I want to respect your time, but I want you to also understand that this could be a, a probability in our relationship. Some people like that. Some people are going to say, forget it. It's not enough for me. And they're going to move on. 
But if you give a little bit of energy to dating and really reading between the lines on what somebody's saying in their profile, all those sort of things, that you have a good chance of meeting somebody who's like you. The problem is a lot of people go in and they're not honest about what they're looking for. They just want somebody in their life. But you have to understand, you might not be for everyone because you are busy. But if you don't make any time at all to figure out a way to bring love into your life and to compromise with somebody, you will be alone. Being too busy for anything is not good. So I used the word compromise a few minutes ago, and that is something that you're really going to have to do here. If you want to have love in your life, which is a very important part of life, and it's great that you're, you're trying to change it up to bring it towards you, but you can't just sit there and just tell everybody you're busy, 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 and expect them to understand. You will have to give something up if you want to have a partner because it's really not fair to expect them to take the dregs of what you have left if you're not compromising. You want to have a reciprocated partnership with somebody where you're both giving. It's not just one person who says, okay, well, I can see you on Saturday. That's all I have for the next two weeks. It's not going to work for you. So if you're serious about getting into dating again and meeting somebody, you are going to have to allot a little bit of time. Again, you don't go for long major dinners until you figure out there's a connection with someone. And then when you do feel there's a bit of a fit, then you can plan something. But make sure you tell them, this is kind of my life right now. It's not always going to be this way. I'm trying to manage it so that I can have more time to do personal things and to be with somebody I love. So don't walk in there with demands and what you expect walk in there with honesty and I really would love to meet somebody. I'm finding it a little difficult because I'm busy and I want to change that. I want to find a way to make it change. And I tell you the nine times out of ten when people do find somebody that really intrigues them, all of a sudden they're not quite as busy anymore. It's quite interesting how that happens. So pay attention. Are you too busy because you've got something you're afraid of? Or are you really that busy that maybe you need a little bit more time before you date? Because you can't go in expecting everybody to sit there and just see you once every month or whenever you've got a few minutes in your busy day. But just make sure you're not shortchanging yourself in the love department down the road because you don't want to be that person that ends up later in life not with the family that you always dreamt of having and not with a partner because you've never given time or energy to finding that partner. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe if you haven't done so and please leave your comments and any show ideas in the comment section below. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.